Gulf State Software is pleased to announce the Full Board Word Feud Helper, the latest member of our Full Board family of word game learning tools. This app is designed to be used after taking a turn on your own to see if you made the best move available or if you might have done better. But for this demonstration, we'll concentrate on the raw abilities of the app without a specific word game example. After viewing this video, if you'd like to see how Fullboard is used to analyze an actual word feud game, please have a look at the video on the Google Play Store page for our deluxe Fullboard 11 Plus Word Game Helper, which supports word feud plus 10 other games. Basic operation of this app is easy. Just tap and type onto the rack. And then tap and type onto the board. Words appear immediately as you type. You don't have to set up everything first and then press a solve button or go to a separate display to view results. Solutions appear on the same screen where your letters are entered as you are typing. It's like having a spreadsheet for your word game, which is great for experimentation. No other app has this ability. Every one of the 234 words that can be played to this board from this rack has been instantly computed, with the highest scoring word shown by default. You can move through the rest of the words by tapping on the arrow buttons, or by using your volume controls, or by sliding your finger along the seek bar. Notice that as each word is displayed on the board, the word and its score are displayed below the board on the seek bar. And on the rack, the letters that would be needed to play that word are highlighted in the same ghostly translucent white color as is used to show those same letters on the board, which makes it easy to see what the leave of your play would be if you had selected that word. Although that's very useful, 234 words is still a lot to take in one at a time, and with a blank or two on your rack, there could even be tens of thousands of words. That's why we developed Fullboard's unique heat map feature. Fullboard's heat map shows you, at a single glance, every square on your board to which any of the possible words could be played. If a square is not lit up, it means that not a single word can be played to it. And the squares that are lit up are given colors that correspond to the scores of the best words that can be played to them, with the squares that have the highest scoring words shown in hot colors like red and yellow, while lower scoring squares are given cooler colors like blue. From the present heat map, we can see that there are two main hot areas, here and here. The first area includes the highest scoring word, jives, which is already displayed. To see the words for the hot area to the right of that area, we can use the app's Presto feature. Just long press any square on the board, in this case the square to the right of the word expert, and presto, the highest scoring word that covers it magically appears on the board. This feature cannot be found in any other app. The remaining words for that same square can now be viewed by tapping the right arrow button. You'll keep viewing words that covered that square until you run out of such words, at which point the app will move along to other words that don't involve that square. So the heat map can help you to recognize patterns on your board that indicate good places to play, as in this case, where hooking a letter onto a long word that has some high-valued tiles, the word expert here, provides a way to add all of the points for those tiles to your score. And once you've noticed such a pattern, the Presto feature can show you specifically what words can be played to that area so that you'll have some real examples of the general pattern that you're learning from the map. Another important word feud skill is rack management, that is, trying to ensure that the letters that remain after your play will help you as much as possible when your next turn comes around. To support this, Fullboard has a rack brain feature that allows you to long press any letter on your rack to change its status from play to keep. 
And if you long press it again, the status will change from keep to dump. Suppose, for example, that we want to explore the possibility of saving our valuable letter S to play on our next turn. We could just long press our rack's S tile like so, changing its status to keep. And Fullboard will instantly show us words that can be made without using that tile. Here we see that the word jive, which omits the S tile, has almost as high a score as the highest scoring word jives, which would require playing that tile. So in this case, we might decide to save our S by playing the word jive. Or suppose that rather than wanting to save a tile, we wanted to get rid of it. If you long press a tile on Fullboard's rack twice, its status will change to dump, and Fullboard will then show us words that include that tile. If, for example, we wanted to dump both of the I tiles on our present rack, we could just long press each one of them twice, like so, changing from play to keep, and then changing this eye from keep to dump, and the second eye, the same thing, changing to keep, and then to dump. Full board now shows us vision, the highest scoring word that has two eyes, instead of the word jives, which has only one. As before, to see additional words that satisfy your current criteria, you can just press the right arrow button until we run out of such words and have to go on to other ones that have only one eye. There you go. And eventually, if we went far enough, we would get to those that have no eyes at all. You can also change the word list away from our standard TWL list to the much larger SALPODS list that is used for international play, or to the much smaller common list, which is only provided by full board, of about 46,000 words that are in common use. And we'll select that one now. After selecting the common list, we see that we have only 101 result words instead of the 234 words that were available using the larger TWL list. This is handy when you want to focus on improving your ability to notice board patterns and make anagrams from your rack letters without being distracted by a lot of obscure words that you probably didn't know in the first place. However, since you'll normally want to learn vocabulary at the same time as you're learning other word game skills, you'll usually be working with the TWL list when you evaluate your plays. The process of using Fullboard to evaluate a move that you've made in an actual game is described in detail in the video for our flagship Full Board 11 Plus Word Game Helper, which can be found on the Google Play page for that app. The 11 Plus Word Game Helper supports not only WordFeud, but also 10 other popular word games. The video for the 11 Plus app happens to use a WordFeud game for its in-depth example, so please have a look at it to learn how to import, save, and restore your word game data to the Full Board app. In addition to its unparalleled tools for exploring your word game's board, this app has a number of other useful features. The app's Check Word feature instantly tells you if what you have typed into it is a word in the current list. So as I type B-R-I-L, -L, L, we hit Brill and that's a word, you notice that there's a dotted line under the check mark which indicates that there are still longer words that start with Brill, and so we type I A N and there is one of those longer words, and we still have the dotted line, so perhaps uh, we can pluralize this word brilliant if it's considered to be a noun and not just an adjective. And yes, brilliance is a word. Now the line has gone solid, which means there's no point typing any further because there are no words longer than brilliance that start with brilliance. If there's a word you don't know, tapping the DEF button will look up that word for you on a dictionary website. So, for example, if you're looking through your words and you come across this word Jones and wonder what it means, just tap the DEF button and you'll be taken to the Wiktionary website, which tells us that Jones is an intense addiction or a craving. When you first install the app, a guided tour starts automatically that takes you through the app's major features while you are using the app. We invite you to install the app and take that guided tour 
during the 15-minute free trial period offered by Google for all apps. Thanks for joining us during this demonstration of the Full Board Word Feud Helper app. We hope that you will visit us at the Google Play Store, and we look forward to hearing from you regarding your experiences using the app to improve your word game skills.